Show, and I'm right back at you with another one. And today, I wanted to bring something to your attention that you might have overlooked, man. But before we do that, you got to hit that like button. And if you aren't already, you have to hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. As when I drop premieres, I like to be in those premieres when you can ask me questions. That's exactly where you can ask me questions. You can say, hey, you know, I would like to request this person's case. I would like to request that person's case. But you got to catch me in those premieres, man. You can also catch me going live. Man, we have some good discussions going on in there. The chat is always lit <laughs> to a T. You know, we're always breaking down cases. We're always breaking down whatever's going on. Definitely want to check into the lives, man. You know, I'm going live on a more um, consistent basis. So that's great for everyone else. And I can see everyone's liking the live so far by the views and so forth. So appreciate y'all. But today I wanted to bring something to our attention, man. So let's jump right into it. This is the FBG Brick and Kobe uh, case supplementary report. Um, if you have not seen the full case uh, read, go back into the channel. I will link the video in this description. So you should be able to find it just below. All right, so let's get into this. What I was going through, man, I was just sitting around going through this paperwork and some other paperwork, of course, and I wanted to take a look at some of these lab reports, man. Since there were so many of them, I was a little caught off guard because usually they don't go through that extent, that much of an extent for labs. You know, you usually see maybe two lab reports, but here it was like five, right? So I wanted to take a look at this one. This is an area central, central ballistics information alert lab report. This report should be read in conjunction with all RD numbers and any other documentation generated pertaining to this case number. All right, this report was administratively prepared for the purpose of submitting a lab report pertaining to the listed ballistics. The reporting detective has no firsthand knowledge of these cases. The following information is a summation and should not be considered verbatim unless noted. The report acknowledges that reporting detectives received the listed ballistics report and was informed that a high confidence correlation exists between fire cartridge casings recovered in the cases listed below as listed on the BIA report. The information listed below is current as of the date of this report. And I don't know if we see this here, man. I want to look at this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases, right? But this case here that's open is this one here. That's the case you see. You can match these two numbers up, right? Cool. But this, I mean, this, the, the bullets, right? The ballistics. are alluding to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of which are summaries. Not sure if these are already solved or what not, but I mean, this is seven other cases that the firearm was used to Hey man, high confidence correlation, you can't beat that. That's seven cases there. Then go back up. Same situation. High confidence correlation. So if we unpack that a little bit, right? Let's make sure here. Yep. The report acknowledges high confidence correlation. Yes, in this case is this one. But the documents we, we, we are looking at and are mindful of in this video, as you can see they're matching these. These are what we would expect to see. But this one down here, y'all let me know what y'all think about all these cases here. And I'll be right back at you with another one.
don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumb up the video i will be right back with another exclusive uh, this Peace. document here man this is a chicago police department firearms laboratory document we're going to read this high confidence correlation man in the opinion of the firearm technician a high confidence correlation exists between the ballistics evidence in the above cited investigations a review of the firearm evidence indicates a predictive relationship between the above cases this information is to provide investigative leads through timely actionable intelligence data the detective should request an official hit which is one-on-one -on -one comparison when it is required for prosecution in court the high confidence correlation is linked to the above cases asterisk denotes additional new hcc firearm recovered inventory number listed make block model 19 generation 4 serial number redacted caliber 9 millimeter based on acquisition and correlation review of the above cartridge cases a potential candidate for comparison exists between the 11 incidents meaning that there is a possible relationship between the 11 cases based on the firearm related evidence the information is for investigative purposes only and does not represent a confirmed connection between the 11 cases should further examination and comparative analysis blah 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 blah, blah. man what are we 11 cases i've only read seven but here they outline in 11 incidents that that gun was used in man then we get a bunch of redacted paperwork man that's frustrating man i imagine these are some of those witnesses man but y'all let me know what y'all think about this high confidence correlation man look at this yeah yeah let's check this out man they went all the way to virginia synthesizer man. evidence for processing dna fusion kit it's consistent with a male contributor system with a male contributor so they got two so let's see seal yeah let me know what y'all think about this one man it seems to be i got sent this what do y'all think about it man tb shooters man three shooters for tb also listed on this paperwork man do we think mcadoo might have been involved with this one too i mean we just saw all of those uh correlated cases man i don't even know sometimes it's just too, too, too right in our face, man. We got to just take what it is. So let me know what y'all think about this, man. Was McAdoo one of the shooters in a TV homicide, man? I think some of my Reddit homies is trying to put this case together, man. I appreciate all y'all for rocking out with me, man. But let me know what y'all think about all of this, man. We're going to keep breaking this paperwork down into pieces. And y'all got to stay tuned in to get all of it, man. Thanks.